Well, hello, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about Forge of Empire Guild Expedition. Rewards. So, let's get started here. So, here, when I started making this video, I was in High Middle Ages. It's been a while ago. And so, all of this is based off High Middle Ages. It took a few months to get this together. Whee! Renovation kit. So, that was completing the last level. So let's go over to my current world right here. So now, if you don't have a Temple of Relics, I suggest that you get one. If you're going to be in GE at all, it helps out greatly. I'm only at level 5 and I get a 14% chance. I'll show you how to greaten that chance here in a little bit. Every time before I go in, I feed it a forge point or two for good luck. Then I come over to the tavern, go into the tavern shop, let's go shopping. I'm going to do an extra turn for 15 minutes. I alternate in between fighting and doing the negotiation. Whenever I'm doing a negotiations, then I go ahead and I come in here and I click this. It gives you one extra turn and believe me, that helps out greatly. Then we're going to come over here and jump in. I love the sound that makes heat. Um, up here is the level that you're currently on. Haven't started yet this week. This is how many attempts. I currently have eight. Full bar. This is how long this is going on for. Up here on the trophy, there's always seven different guilds that your guild will be up against. And they're from the different different worlds. We are in third place right now. It's pretty early in the week, so there's a chance to get caught up. This here is um, our contribution. What's going on with our rewards? How far we have to go to get our next crown? This in the middle here kind of shows who's contributing, what they're doing, what levels that they're on. Don't, don't be a zero. I'm a zero right now. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. So, when you, little tip on the relics. A little guy over here. Let him light up. Let the, well, let those relics fall in here. Let him keep accumulating. And at the very end, then collect them all. You will get significantly more. This has been proven and tested in Vingrid, the world I'm in, in our guild in there. The leader had mentioned that, so I've been trying it. Enuts have been trying it too, and yeah, it works. So give that a try. So let all your relics accumulate. Then when you get here to the end, then go back and then collect them. Oops, someone's visiting my tavern. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to talk about the rewards. I broke everything down. Cute little pictures. Kind of did it a cheesy way, but hey. We have level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. And this is what I got from each level. And then the total of everything that I, I won. So out of all four levels of completion, I ended up with 92 forge points, 70,000 coins, 18 random military, which helps out a great deal. I don't have any of my current age military buildings down so when I'm playing GE all that is when I'm fighting my room and doing different things and in GE fighting that helps a lot and then the random blueprints I got eight attempts I earned 20 60,000 in supplies altogether 145 goods not bad and lucky here 185 diamonds the Gate of the Sun God 2 and the Ritual Flame. Love them. 10 Rogues. Self-Aid Kit. Now, I've used the Self-Aid Kit a couple of times. It really helps out to aid your guild members daily and your friends daily. Helps polish all those things up for each other. Victory Tower. Random Housing. Oops, one. The Store Building was one mass self-aid kit too. Metals, I got 500. 
at one renovation kit. So as you can see, is playing GE worth it? Yes, it's worth it. So hopefully I'm going to encourage you guys to try it. Give it a go. Try to get to that level four. If you kind of get in and dabble a little bit and you're doing, you're not, well, let's say you're not doing anything at all. Get in there this week. Do level one. If you do level one, push yourself to level two. Push yourself to level three, you know, and so forth. Get up there to that level four. Make it a goal. It helps the guild out greatly, which in turn helps you, the players, out. So I wanted to show you this over here, too. Let's go back, back to my city, over to global, my guild. We're going to go to levels. This is, this is what GVG, GE, and the Hall of Fames. The Hall of Fames and GE are, are the only ways you get crowns. Um, you get the, crown, the bonuses and crowns, too, I believe, for GVG. And then all of this stuff helps us, helps the, the, the guild to grow. And when the guild is growing, you're growing also. I mean, that's, we get five po forge points a day. That's nothing to sneeze at there. That's wonderful. And we don't have too far to go to get to the next level. So age your guild members daily. Get in there and do it. Push yourself. Get up there. Try to get up to level four. Um, you know, log, log your results too. See if you think it's worth it. Well, hopefully this encourages you guys to get in there and start playing more. Get that Temple of Relics if you don't have it too. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked what I have to say today, then give me a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And ta-ta for now. We'll see y'all later.